A survey taken 10 years ago of residents of Area L showed that although living conditions were slightly below their country's average, most residents of L reported general satisfaction with their living conditions. However, this year, the same survey found that while living conditions are now about the same as the national average, most residents of L report general dissatisfaction with their living conditions. Which one of the following, if true, would most help to resolve the apparent conflict between the results of the surveys described above? And so the conflict, this is 10 years ago, 10 years, years ago, and this is this year, this year. And if we say, if we say, well let's say, say status, or let's say conditions, conditions at L. So 10 years ago, they were below average, slightly below average. But people were satisfied, so satisfaction, so satisfaction, satisfaction. All right, okay, right over here. But then this year, it's, they've gotten, it seems like they've gotten, at least superficially, maybe they've gotten better, at least more comparable to the peers, to the surrounding area. So they've gone from below average to average. But now, this year, they're not as satisfied not as satisfied, or let me say general dissatisfaction, so not okay. So it, it, although it looks superficially like, hey, maybe things at least relatively have gotten better, but they've gone from being satisfied or roughly satisfied to not satisfied. What explains this conflict? See, choice A, residents of area L typically value aspects of living conditions different from the aspects of living conditions that are valued by residents of adjacent areas. So I can kind of, maybe make a, an argument that this could kind of resolve it, especially if the, the survey of living conditions isn't comprehensive and if it's not measuring all the dimensions that might make someone satisfied or not. So this would say, hey, the thing that's driving satisfaction, those, those variables, those conditions aren't necessarily, for, for area L, aren't necessarily the ones being measured here. So I kind of could, this, this could start to explain it. It's not very strong, so I'll just, I'll just put a little squiggly. I'm hoping for something stronger, so I'm gonna squiggly outline that one. Let's look for choice, look at, look at choice. Let's look at all the choices, actually. Choice B, between the times that the two surveys were conducted, the average living conditions in L's country had substantially declined. So this one actually makes a lot of sense. So let's say that this is average conditions in the country so L conditions, and then let's say L satisfaction, satisfaction. So this is before, before, and then this is now. And let me put some numbers here. So let's say, let's say we assume this statement B is true. Between the two times that the two surveys were conducted, the average living conditions in L's country had substantially declined. So let's say the average conditions went from nine to five on a scale of 10. And let's say before, else conditions were slightly below average. So let's say they were eight, and now they became average. So even though relatively it seems better, they've gone from below average to average, on absolute terms, things have gotten worse. So it makes sense that maybe their satisfaction here might have been a nine, but now their satisfaction here might be a five. So it makes sense, complete sense, why their satisfaction might go down, even though their relative conditions might have improved slightly because their absolute conditions got worse. So I like this explanation, very clear one. Let's look at the other choices. Optimal living conditions were established in the survey by taking into account governmental policies and public demands on three continents. Well, that doesn't really resolve the conflict. It might give me a little bit more confidence in how the living con optimal living conditions were considered. So let's just, or not, well, but it doesn't seem to really resolve the conflict. Living conditions in an area generally improve only if residents perceive their situation as somehow in need of improvement. Well, that might have resolved, you know, that might have explained why living conditions didn't improve in that area, but it doesn't explain that your relative conditions got better, but your satisfaction went down. B does that very clearly. 10 years ago, the residents of Area L were not aware that their living conditions were below the national average. So that could play into it a little bit. Maybe they, did, they weren't aware of it. And now, but it still doesn't fully, it doesn't explain it that well because now they are at the national average. So you would think that now 
even if they might be aware of it, they're like, well, hey, things have relatively improved, so why am I more dissatisfied? And I'm, we're now at average, even if 10 years ago we weren't, so it seems like we're on the right trajectory. Uh, so this uh, doesn't really resolve the conflict either, at least nowhere near as well as B does it. B does it, I can think about it in a very tangible way, and it resolves it very, very clearly.